What's going on YouTube? Time itself here, playing some Mercenary Team Deathmatch on Villa. I have to apologize for not getting more videos posted. In fact, there are several on my hard drive that I've simply decided not to upload because I don't like them enough. Also started some projects and ended up dropping them before they ever really went anywhere. For example, I got, I think it was 18 headshots with my M14 in two games of Domination, working on the Skull tu Tunnels contract, and I thought that'd be really fun to mash up into a montage, but it turns out it's like a third of transitions and it just doesn't work. And this game also frustrates me frequently and I start to complain quite a bit in some of my commentary. But if I don't have a strong point that I can really flush out, I don't really want to upload that as commentary. I mean, what do you say when this happens? Is it my fault? Is it the game's fault? I I can't tell, but you get knifed in the face anyway. Well, there's a little bit of clue to the lag here. I went back because I recorded this live and I can tell that there are at least 170 milliseconds between the last bullet leaving my gun and getting the headshot kill on that guy. So sometimes the knife works great with that long lunge, and other times it seems like you're just trying to give him a pat on the back. Another thing I still don't really understand very well about this game is when to hit fire and when to shoulder your gun. In Modern Warfare 2, I would have re-shouldered my gun after letting it down to turn a little faster there. In this game, it doesn't seem like that's a good idea. Since this is Mercenary Team Death, I'm expecting the other one not to notice, but he does, and even though my knife is at his throat, he kills me with his bullets. I read that one of the patches recently Treyarch reduced the knife range on the 360 a little bit, and honestly I think we're going to end up seeing them shorten it further, but we'll just have to see what happens. So for now, learning when to hip fire, shoulder, and when to knife is still pretty important, and it's something that still kind of escapes me. Obviously the order there is knife the guy if he's close, hip fire if he's a little bit further, and shoulder your gun if he's still further out. And since those are split second judgment calls, you need to really have a good idea of what those ranges are. That is something that simply takes practice. So I'm going to slow this down. This guy, hip fire or shoulder? I'm going to go with shoulder, but even at this range you can probably hip fire him. I try to get in front of him and let him run through the bullets, but the fire rate on the 74 is slow enough that I only get two hits on him each time I do that, and it takes a fair amount of ammo to kill him. Now, this guy at the top of the stairs with the claymore. This guy is close enough that I should just knife him and not waste the ammo. And there is certainly no need to shoulder the gun in that situation. And the last one, <laughs> well, remember the last time I got in that situation and he turned around and shot me. So I go ahead and shoot him anyway, even though the better choice would have been to knife him. And plus, I'm still kind of confused by the first knife that I missed at the beginning of this game that would have been first blood that... Uh, I'm still kind of thrown off by that in this game, and I'm still thinking about what the heck did I just do wrong there. This also confused me, so I'm going to slow it down too. Once again, I end up shooting a lot of ammo at a guy that's moving only somewhat laterally and not too far away. But I do do the right thing when I come around the corner and just hip fire into his face as he shoots at me from last stand. I'm pretty sure the flinch from getting shot by someone in Last Stand has ended up letting them kill me before, and that's really embarrassing. Now, for whatever reason, it seems like hip firing isn't affected as much by flinch from getting shot, so just do that instead, and it works better. Going back and watching these in slow motion has brought a couple things to my attention. Given the way that I try to shoot someone running sideways in front of me, uh, leading them and letting them run through the fire, I think that would probably have something to do with why the rapid fire on the 74 is so useful. Not only do you put out a lot of ammo, but if you do that, they're going to get hit by a couple more bullets as they run in front of you. There's another guy I should have knifed. And the other is that the sound effects for the game are sometimes off. Not always, but sometimes. And here's a claymore. I don't know what's going on. It must be that guy I killed earlier. Yeah, so sometimes the sound effects for the bullets might not start happening until two or, I think even occasionally, there were three rounds out of the clip before the sound effects started. And at first I thought it was my card, but it wasn't the same amount every time, and the sounds make sense. So the only conclusion I have is that there's something going on with the game where the sound effects for bullets don't happen immediately. It seems really weird. Anyway, I'm kind of curious as to what anybody else who c happens to capture the games live uh, notices with that sort of thing. So, I shot a lot of people that I probably should have just knifed, and it took me a lot of ammo to kill a lot of people, uh, more so than it should have, so I've started picking up other weapons. And, well, it makes things a little bit trickier, but I think it's a lot of fun actually, so I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Plus, it gives me a chance to try some other weapons that I otherwise might not try.
I seem to recall that some of my teammates have ended up running weapons identical to the ones that I had just because they liked them when they picked them up off my dead body. Kind of a compliment, I suppose. But I particularly noted that with an M14 I had with, I think it was a red dot and a grip. Uh, the thing is a headshot machine. I already mentioned the uh, 18 headshots in two games. Well, that's how I did it. So here I'm trying out an AUG, and I get to play with an AK for a little bit, and now I'm going to run around with the Scorpion and see what I can do with that. I'm pretty sure that most people have noticed by now, but the game will give you the headshot sound when you just get a headshot, and it doesn't always mean that you got a kill, and training myself not to hear that sound and immediately think that I've got a kill has uh, it's been harder than I'd expected. So I'm just playing with all the guns that I can find at this point, and I look at the RPK and go, no ammo in the clip, I don't want to reload that, and so I pick the AUG back up. <laughs> I also need to apologize for something. I did not manage to record a game that really needed to be recorded. I was at home over Thanksgiving break and didn't take my computer with me, just my Xbox. And so one night was playing and four of us were together and we got dumped into a game of domination on WMD. And the score when we joined the game was 18 to 114. And the host who was on the other team was not a very good sport about losing when he'd had that kind of lead at one point. So, while well, that is going to go down as one of the more epic comebacks that I've had, uh, sadly it was not recorded. I'm sorry. And that last kill there is going to be the last one I have this game. So, uh, pretty good at 26 and 2, playing with a lot of stolen guns. And considering how many bullets I went through, why do I still have a Nova Gas and a Semtex in my pocket? Eh, whatever. I also need to work on the whole when to knife, when to hit fire, and when to shoulder thing. But I still don't quite feel like I have it all down, and I'll keep wanting to mess around with that some more. The whole thing would be made a lot more simple if I could just figure out how to not have knives that simply whiff, like the very first one in this game, because that happens often enough that uh, just going ahead and shooting people seems like a better option in most cases, since you don't end up flying past them and alerting them to your position, or in worst cases, running straight into them and then not killing them, and they look at you like, what are you doing, idiot? Well, that's the end of the gameplay, so I'll go ahead and cut off the commentary. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.